couldn't see it until literally it was like five steps on the other side of these pine trees. And uh, it turned out to be a spike. But I'm telling you what, it got my adrenaline flowing. That was really cool. So uh, we were we were gonna move and uh, actually hike back down to camp and eat lunch and then come back. There's no way we're moving now. We're uh, we're gonna stick it out until dark. I'm I'm assuming. So anyway, hang tight. This might get really good today. Checking back in, it's about 5.30. We are still at the same wallow. But, uh, man, about an hour ago, all of a sudden the temperature dropped probably 15 to maybe even 20 degrees. And we are lucky we brought jackets, but um, we were just talking about it. It literally feels like it went from summer to fall in the last three hours up here, which is uh, probably a good thing. So we're hoping it, we're hoping it gets the bulls and I mean, all the elk, for that matter, up on their feet and moving around. But... Um, we've got about three more hours of daylight. We're gonna chill here and uh, see if we can get anything on their feet. Okay, so I think this is gonna be a wrap for day one. Uh, we're actually headed down to camp right now uh, the only thing we ended up seeing tonight was a spike and we, we bumped a mule deer on the way down here. So we're uh, backtracking. We're going to hit it again tomorrow morning and uh, probably sit for a while and do it at an earlier time, hotter time of the day. So anyway, it was a good day, long day. We'll uh, try it again tomorrow. So, end of day one of the 2017 Utah elk hunt. Uh, no shots, but had a cool day. Um, so as you guys saw, we found a real cool wallow um, way up high. So we actually decided to hike down early, uh, pick up a couple trail cams. I've actually got a trail cam that I'm gonna hang also in, in video mode. And uh, we're gonna basically surround that wallow uh, the different trails coming in to just see what we're getting, you know, in terms of traffic and uh, what bulls are up there. But had a little surprise, uh, so we pulled the two cams that Brad had, and uh, we were just sitting around eating dinner around the campfire, and uh, happened to pull up the card to see if anything had walked um, since this morning, walked in front of them since this morning when we were there, and we got a giant mountain lion on the second cam um, where we were actually getting uh, lots of pics of bulls and uh, kind of the eerie thing was it looks like she walked in front of that camera about three hours before we came through and picked it up so and uh, she came from the direction that we were so we ended up probably bumping her out of a spot and uh, she came right down so anyway that'll uh, make you think twice about every little sound you hear and what trail you choose to take so anyway pretty cool pretty cool to see it but uh anyway we're gonna get some sleep we're gonna get up super early hike up the mountain and get up there and uh set up before sunrise so see you in the morning good morning from day two of elk camp it is just after 4 30 in the morning we are hiking up all the way to the top of the ridge to that wallow we sat on yesterday and uh we're gonna sit and we're gonna kill a bull. So today's gonna be a good day. We talked to a couple hunters coming out and uh, it sounds like there were a bunch of hunters down low, um, which could explain you know, the pressure why we didn't see things in the morning when we were lower. So anyway, we're going out, we got heavy packs and uh, we've got supplies. If we need to stay the night up there and we kill, that's fine, we can do that. So anyway, 
Follow along. Here we go. It's time to kill some bulls. We ended up sitting in that water hole all day until well after dark. Uh, we packed it out, went back to camp, and kind of discussed the game plan, and we felt like it was probably worthwhile to give it one more shot in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is day three of the archery elk hunt in Utah, and we are back at it again. It's just after 4.30. We're hiking back up to that, that high elevation wallow. And uh, we're going to post up and uh, try out the new spot we have. We, we actually switched to the opposite side of the wallow. And uh, I think our, our wind is going to be better. So we, we had some cows up high yesterday. And we know they're bulls. I mean, there's at least a spike. And we've seen a fresh bull uh, dropping. It's like right by that wallow. So we know they're in there. It's just a matter of catching them coming through. But uh, I'm going to be quiet. we got about another mile hike in. And uh, we'll be there and set up. So hopefully today is the day. We have officially given up on the real high elevation spring wallow that we found. Number one, we don't have that much patience. Long days, seeing nothing aren't that much fun but on our way down we decided to check out some timber that we've been hearing animals move through and uh, we just found some fresh water that's actually coming from the stream up, up top and I think it goes all the way down through this timber so I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna knock an arrow and we're gonna go into this timber and find us a bowl hopefully This is the end of day three elk hunting. We actually uh, came down the mountain a little bit lower, hung a trail cam on a different water hole, and uh, we've been putting in a lot of effort, so we uh, decided to call it quits early a little bit and uh, come down and regroup and uh, get some dinner. But uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow morning, and uh, hopefully day four is good. So we'll see. We, we've been putting in a lot of effort, but. Uh, elk just are not cooperating right now so hopefully uh with it being the now the middle of the week maybe some of the hunting pressure will go down and they'll go back to their normal routine so anyway we're gonna eat and uh, we'll be back up first thing in the morning see ya